I'm ready to suffer a little bit, so I'll play a little bit of the Lost. Uh, that's that's all that's all there is to it, really. I mean, is it really that much suffering? You do get the ED6, you get to have some fun, you get to do a little bit of just a tiny bit of cheeky rigging, you know, all the all the usual stuff. Nothing nothing too bad, nothing too shabby usually. But I suppose let's not get ahead of ourselves, right? We gotta see where this journey takes us, where the road goes for the time being. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're having a, a grand old time. Okay day, all that usual stuff, right? Ooh, I would love that battery. I I would absolutely adore having that. Matter of fact, I would adore it so much, I'm gonna blow up my donut machine for it right away and not get enough money out of it, which, to be fair, was ambitious, but still. Two more cents, that should be doable, matter of fact. This should do it. I even got a secret room out of my troubles here. Isn't that something? Yeah, this is free. I should use this. I had to second-guess myself for a second, but that is literally free. So, uh, I guess I know what I'm re-rolling for the rest of this floor. <laughs> Give me that as well. Gotta re-roll it. Dad's ring is alright. And you could convince me to take it, or you could not, and I will just uh, move on with my life without ever having seen it. Yeah, I can use some bombs. That's fine. Boom. <sighs> nah. All right, fine. I'll take Isaac's tomb. I was saying a, a few, a few episodes, a few lone episodes ago, how Isaac's tomb is one of those items that you always get in secret rooms when you're re-rolling, and you never end up taking because you have access to re-rolls. And even though it's a completely fine and serviceable item, you never end up taking it because you'd rather re-roll it into something else. If you have re-rolls available in secret rooms, like why would you settle for anything less than C? Uh, not C section. I can glitch crown, rock bottom, or Sacred Orb, right? Or maybe Spin Down Dice. Like, there's there's only so many items that you would really want or care for. So, uh, that's that. I don't have a key, huh? And I don't have any way to get one either, so I guess we'll just go down this floor. Why, well, yeah, bedroom, huh? Man, I really do need some keys, because I gotta open these Isaac Tomb chests, which is the next problem. They need keys to open. Ah, oh, it's a dirty one. God damn it, man. Gosh. Gosh, dag, nabbit. I understand censoring yourself for reason of you don't like swearing because you're religious. I also understand, obviously, censoring yourself and saying, like, frig in, uh, in front of children. What's... I mean, I guess I guess it's religious as well. I, is it really like a like a religious, like a Christian thing to not say God or, like, take God's name in vain by saying, like, God damn it? Is that... Is that, like, why is that, I don't understand why that is considered so horrific, so offensive. Like, I feel like they put it on the same pedestal, they put it on the same level as saying shit or fuck, which are actual cuss words, and I understand that those are actual swears, right? But I just don't understand why why that's on the same level. Oh man. Oh man. And I don't have keys, man. I don't, I don't got no keys for nothing. I kind of want to go to my shop, but I can't go in there until I get at least an extra key. Lockdown? Ugh. God damn it, dude. I should have just taken the ghost baby, huh? I should have just taken the ghost baby. I'm... Um, I'm really starting to, starting to regret my choices here, man. The same with hell. Why is... Why, I, I mean, I get it. It's like Christian and whatnot. And that's why you, you, I guess, still have that. Because Christian rallies are still so, considered such a big deal in Western world or whatever. But it's, it's so funny to me. I, I would have It would have never occurred to me. Had I not known that people do it... Oh my god, another key. Thank god. Uh, it would have never occurred to me. I mean, I, I say shit like, oh my god, all the time. Which is crazy because I'm not religious, right? For some reason, it's just an expression that I that I say when I am surprised, <laughs> which is <laughs> which is why it's so funny. That I mean, it's probably ironic, right? The whole oh my science thing that uh, makes fun of redditors or whatever, because for some reason redditors are always these quote unquote enlightened atheists that have this undying need to let everybody know that they're atheists. But still, uh, let's fight the boss right now. This shouldn't be too bad. Matter of fact, I've got bombs for days. I should just use those. Oh, look at that. I blew up like <laughs> two thirds of the boss in one explosion. Would you look at that? Now that is more like it. That's how you fight Larry Jr. Wait a minute. If there's a Larry Jr., that means my man. Anyway, that's useless. That's very useful. Would you look at that? Do I check this devil deal? Ah, I'll peep it. Mm, not worth it. Mm, would have been worth it if I'd taken Ghost Baby, but uh, alas, it is not worth it. Spend a key on this immediately, so I'm not even tempted to use it anywhere else. Use the next one on the shop, and then final one, I guess, on the Isaac's Tomb Chest, because it's technically probably better than the Golden Chest, at least on average. Usually. Maybe. Sometimes. I don't know. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, well, I suppose I'll take Bursting Sack. 
No use in leaving it behind, be that as it may. You ever use figures of speech like that in like a conversation and you feel like you're the smartest motherfucker on earth? You ever say shit like, be that as it may? But alas, I do say a but alas a lot, actually. It always makes me feel like I'm extremely smart. <laughs> Which I'm obviously not, but it, it makes me feel like that, right? And sometimes just feeling good about yourself is more than more than half the battle. At the end of the day, when you're when you're fighting for survival out there, you're not fighting anybody else. You're fighting yourself, man. Everybody's just fighting for their own for their own well-being. Everybody's just fighting their own demons. Men really be out here saying they fighting demons, and then it's just bisexuality. Okay, that's a completely different. That's just how, like, my mind wanders into seeing a- like, remembering a post I saw once that I thought was kind of funny. That's- that's all there is to it. I've gotten myself a reroll available, I've gotten myself a turret lit to fight. Honestly, blow this motherfucker up. Huge. So much easier. So much better. I've gotten myself a key as well. Would you look at that? I'm just gonna use it on this chest. Screw it. God damn it! Where are my- where are my items that those chests are supposed to pay out with sometimes? I'm being scammed, I'm being ripped off, bro. But alas. <laughs> but alas, I shall check the shop and see what we've got. Oh. <laughs> okay. You hit me with a birthright, huh? I see, I get it, all right. An item room was down here all along. At least I got another key to actually go into it. So that's nice. Shot speed up, tears down. Yikes! Oh, hell yeah. Eight inch nails, though. Let's go. I'm gonna need you to transition into phase two as soon as possible, please. Thank you. You're done for. You're done, kiddo. Sit yourself down. Turn into nothing and disappear. Tears up is huge. Obviously, I'm taking perfection. And we're doing the mirror side. Oh, yeah, I got another chest of these. Too bad I don't have fucking keys. I got bombs and coins for days. I got no fucking keys, though. I gotta take the damn hinges off the doors, or something like that, I don't know. At least I can reroll this knife piece a little bit, maybe get something cool? Nope. Mm, nope, don't care about that either. Enough for one more charge? Ah, oh, well, this guy will do. There you go, he's charges, in a way. Boom! Ah, well, it is a bookworm piece, so I should pick it up and use it once, and then roll it again. Alright, it's gone, cool. Anyway, now that I've brought it up, I guess it's it's time to bring out the- Tell him to bring out the lobster. Oh, <laughs> tell him to bring out the whole ocean. What's the deal with DJ Khaled, man? I remember years and years and years ago when he first entered the public domain in some way, shape, or form. AK, I'm pretty sure when H3H3 back in the day. Oh god, that's a name that brings back a whole plethora of just antique memories that I'd repressed. Not, not for any particular reason, but just because I used to watch that channel when it was funny and then it stopped being funny and now everybody kind of hates him, so I, I guess there's that. Anyway. That's completely besides the point. I just felt like- I just had like an intrusive thought that I felt like I had to get out there. Oh boy. Well, I guess while I collect this, we can go on. But like, you know, DJ Khaled is still around. I- again, I don't think I've ever heard a song produced by DJ Khaled. At least I don't think I have. I, I've certainly never gone out of my way to look at uh, anything or, well, much rather listen to anything he's done. But I feel like DJ Khaled is like an, an anomaly. I feel like he's not a real human being because he only communicates in catchphrases. I don't think I've ever heard him articulate a full run-on sentence to get some sort of point across. I, I, like, every clip I see of him is at most 10 seconds long, and it's usually him saying the same line three times in a row. <laughs> it's always like a catchphrase, so it's like five words, and then just him doing something completely wild off, off the off the rocker, right? He loves golfing, though. I know that. And one of my favorite videos is, uh, or much rather genre of DJ Khaled videos, is the ones where he's, um, you know, the, the precedent has been set, he loves golfing, and then the, the video is just him looking out of a window, because it's like really rainy outside, so he, he can't go golfing, but he's like got full golf gear on, you know, he's, he's holding like the golf club and all that shit. Really funny. Do I want this flip? Is it going to work as long as- let's cheat, let's see, let's see. I was under the impression usually that it only works when you enter a new floor, but I also thought that it works when you enter the room. So, considering I just grabbed it before I even entered my item room or shop, uh, even if I'm gonna end up wasting- I mean, I would've wasted charges on the ED6 anyway, so yeah, let's- let's see. Here's my item room. Let's have a look and see what we're dealing with here, right? You know, that's funny, man. I feel like DJ Khaled would actually be like a chill-ass dude to hang out with. Oh, I totally get both items. Let's go, dude. All right. I could've- Rerolled Brother Bobby, but whatever. I'm, I'm dealing with it now. DJ Khaled seems like a cool, chill-ass dude to hang out with, man. If I could choose a celebrity to just spend a day with, not even for any particular reason- Oh my goodness. Not even for any particular reason. Just just to hang out with him. Like, 
DJ Khaled is up on that list, man. Okay, well, I guess Flip has lived out its usefulness now. I wasn't gonna get the hourglass. Yes, I could have flipped it and then maybe re-rolled it or what. I don't care. I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I'm just gonna reroll flip instead, and it's gone. Okay, too bad. He seems like a chill ass dude, man. I've never gone golfing, IRL. I feel like I'd be fun as hell. Let's just go on a little golfing sesh, have a, have a good time, right? That seems that seems like it could be good fun. Life is Roblox, everybody. Remember, always remember, life is Roblox. <laughs> Every time I'm just browsing Instagram and a DJ Khaled video shows up, it's it's like it releases a certain amount of serotonin. It's a, it's a, a little bit of dopamine gets spiked in my in my brain because I see him and I'm like, yeah, that guy's funny. I don't know if he does it on purpose. People are saying, and this is again, you know, this this cycles back to something I talked about a couple of weeks ago. People are saying, oh, dude, he's obviously on the spectrum. He's obviously got autism. I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's autistic. That would explain a lot of the behavior. Is he, though? Fuck do I know. I'm not going to be the one that says that. I'm not going to be part of the problem that's like, I'm going to diagnose a random stranger with uh, autism spectrum disorder without, you know, being a certified professional or whatever. I understand why people do it, especially if they're autistic, because they want to be able to relate to celebrity or whatever. But still, it's... I think it's weird, even if getting an autism diagnosis as an adult is not something that you can necessarily easily get. I'm just saying diagnosing random strangers with autism or other mental deficiencies slash neurodivergency is a bit strange. And I, I think you shouldn't do it. It just, it, just, it just feels a little strange to me, okay? If they're specifically asking for advice, then yes, you could. But just doing it out of the blue randomly is a bit strange. I just think it's funny, you know? What if he's not autistic? What if that's just how he is? Like, I saw a clip of uh, DJ Khaled back in, like, the 90s, like, 96 or something like that, when he was really young. He, st he was still acting the same way, brother. He was, like, sitting in a car, handing out mixtapes. Mi mix like, bro, he's always been the way he is, man. That's just how he is. He's just DJ Khaled. Eh, uh, roll this. Ooh, spirit sword, huh? Sure, it's been a while I've had a spirit sword run. For some reason, this item always shows up when I'm the lost, but whatever, I'm, I can live with that. I I'm fine with it. Because I love Spirit Sword. And I have not had any wrist pain for <laughs> a couple of weeks. So let's just make it terrible, right? Let's ruin my wrist. That seems like good fun. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be able to carry that tapeworm with me. So I have a little bit more range with a sword. But alas, that's not going to happen. I'm back on my bullshit again with my, <laughs> my fancy words. I need to learn more fancy words to incorporate into self-conversation like that so I can uh, pretend to be way smarter than I actually am. I like to pretend that I'm not some sort of Luddite that doesn't actually know anything about anything, especially when it comes to art, which I think is the usage of the word Luddite. It's an example of me learning a fancy word and then probably misusing it, but trying to use it in some ways and failing horribly or whatever. Uh, I suppose I'll never know. I might as well just use it. Maybe I get a cool boss item. I mean, that's kind of worth it because it's spun, so there you go. Didn't even have to re-roll. Literally the better play there. If you want to re-roll Pandora's box and tell me what it turns into, there you go. If you want to do it on the Ash Pit too and uh, tell me what happens. Feel free! I'd love to know your opinion. Insert GIF of a uh, fax machine directly feeding its output into a paper shredder. <laughs> your feedback is very much appreciated. I don't need jumper cables, man. Not with the ED6. It's just a waste of money, I think. Oh, mom's key though. Oh, a big puberty pill? Let's go, Pog. Keep a sack a little late, but it's better late than never. What is this pill? Tears down. Doesn't affect me for once. That's lovely. Tell him to bring out the leftover lobster. <laughs> ah, let's fight the boss. It's probably Gideon. Yeah, okay. Well, here's, here's to seeing how quickly I can beat this guy this time around. Ghosts. At least I get one shot. Boom. Ghost busting. I think the mixture of the stopwatch here with uh, me killing the waves fast enough means he's not actually attacking, which is absolutely lovely. Lovely. Wonderful stuff. Okay, well, he got one attack in. Sure, do your thing, do your thinking. King of the deal. Let's go. Pentagram, absolutely wonderful. Yeah, my damage output's kind of crazy. I mean, I have 11 damage. There's actually, like, a lot for Spirit Sword, especially, because I'm pretty sure the swing does 3x your, mace, your base damage. And then if you do the spin... It does 10x or something like that, which is crazy. By the time I see the contents of this wonderful room right here. Monstro's Lung? Does Monstro's Lung have a synergy with Spirit Sword? I know I installed the Monstro's Lung Synergies mod. Does it work with Spirit Sword? I mean, worst case, nothing happens, right? It's just a massive tears down. Not even. Does anything happen? Oh, yeah, actually, if I do the spin, it spits out some tears. That's cool, okay. I mean, I'm still not going to use that because I'm just going to swing. I'm just gonna sh 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 swing, tap fire swing, but still, that's cool. Hey, like, I, I feel like we need to, as a species, take DJ Khaled and, like, study him. 
we need to understand what's what's going on inside his brain. He's an anomaly. He's not like a normal human being, obviously. He needs to be studied. He's there, there's something there's something there's something going on with that guy. I'm telling you. There's no way that this guy's been acting the same way for 25 years and is just somehow like extremely successful in his in his career. Like obviously he must be really good at his job, right? He's like a music producer, right? He must be really good at his job if he's so rich and successful. So evidently it's, if anything, if he actually has some sort of, you know, autism spectrum disorder or neurodivergence or whatever, it's an inspiring message. That shit doesn't hold you back. If anything, it should be the thing that gets you gets you up in life, you know? That gives you, gives you... <laughs> autism is my superpower! <laughs> that sort of deal. I'll just take this fucking joint, even though it doesn't matter with sword. Maybe I'll get... C-section at some point, and then I'll be happy to have conjoined. Plus, it's Dry Baby. I love Dry Baby. For no particular reason at all. N none at all. What do we have in the shop? Tarot cloth is good. I need to spend money anyway. What do we have? A magician card. Okay, let's roll this. Nope. Yes. Need me a penny. Uh, she opened on my heimer to like <laughs> extremely loud incorrect buzzer noise. There's my money. Okay, let's turn that into uh, something perhaps exciting. Perhaps not. Perhaps it's just gonna be terrible. Either way, I want it, and uh, I want to use it in my secret room. Boom. Okay, well, I want to take a shortcut. I don't want to go all the way around. <laughs> Key bomb is not terribly exciting when it comes to secret room items, so he's getting sent straight to hell, aka the ED6 reroll queue. Now, he could turn into something wonderful, in which case I feel like if you reroll an item, you know, if you if you even if you re-roll it, its essence get inf gets infused into the next item regardless. Might as well do this, and um, you know, a little bit carries on. So right now, in that blank card, Key Bum's life carries on anyways. Essence is still there. The essence is only ever truly lost if he disappears, if he gets turned into nothingness, if he gets sent to the shadow realm, he's gone for good. Until that point, we're having a good time with him. This is a big Gehenna one, dude. Like these floors tend to be big sometimes. Like this one is like massive. Boom! All right, it's gone. Goodbye, Keybum, and your essence or whatever. You're you're never to be seen again. I I suppose it's unfortunate, really. I am like just out here one-shotting every enemy, man. It's crazy. I'm just swinging a sword at them, waving my little my little sharp stick at them. Maybe I get lucky and he pays out right away, and then I can reroll. Ah, oh, nine volt is great though. Fuck it. Nah, <laughs> I'm trying to fish for something here. I'm trying to rig. Let me game. I beg of you. Let me do my thing. Let's go, let's do it, dude. Absolutely annihilate them. I love Spirit Sword, dude. I love it so much. I would love to get another Angel Deal, but I guess I'll check this. Two Guppy items. Don't be fooled, I can only take one, and neither of these are worth losing Angel chances over. What the fuck? Do they get their own swords? Fuck it. Sorry, Angel Deals, but this is too exciting. They do get their own swords. Okay, well... <laughs> well, I mean... I mean... Yeah, that's worth it. I, whew. Plus I got conjoined out of it. Uh, this room again. I'm getting a strange sense of deja vu from that one. I, like, I've been in this place before. Perhaps higher on the street. Knowing it's my place to go. Calling you? I don't remember any of the rest of the lyrics, I'm sorry. Oh, what the hell? Okay! The charge time has certainly gotten worse, but my sword has certainly gotten a lot bigger. I didn't know that Hemolacria also gives you a big sword. I, w I thought it was just uh, Polly that does that. Turns out, uh, Hemo also does that. That's cool. A planetarium? Really? I guess... I guess I did have, um, Magic 8-Ball. Fair enough. I... For some reason, Terra is the only planetarium that keeps showing up recently. Whenever I do get a planetarium, I always get Terra. I'm not complaining. It's a damage up at the end of the day, and damage is king, so... That's all... That's all good. I love the sight of this. Reroll this. Nah. Okay. Oh. I'll take that, and I'll smelt down my perfection. That allows me to carry another trinket. Absolutely. Restock once more. Poke go. Nah, roll me, dude. Oh, trinket spot uh, slots as well. Your soul? Does it take one Devil Doom room item for free? I wonder how that works when you're the last, but I might as well carry it. Roll me. <sighs> yeah, that's amazing. I have Crucipair. This is gonna be incredible. <laughs> I, yeah, that's. I, there's no contesting that one. That's absolutely wonderful. Let's just fight mom. This should be a very quick fight. Yep. <laughs> What a surprise! Wow, never saw that one coming. Let's go... Up. I wanna go up. I wanna go up today. I'm, I'm like an, I feel like... I'm feeling like going up today. I'm more of an up guy. I'm more like an up dog type of person. Girls are the lost. Yeah, I'm playing the lost. More trinkets. Filigree feather. Well, 
If only I could get angel deals. <laughs> I love how little your fire rate really matters. Wait, I should be doing it like this. I love how little your fire rate really matters when you're using Spirit Sword. Because you can just tap like that and it's so fun. Alright, well, it's a devil deal without items in it. Great. I love being... I love devil deals. I love the fact that they never have anything in them. Especially once you've actually committed to them and then you get nothing. It's great, isn't it? It's so much fun. I, I, I'm a huge fan. Emperor Card, you know what? This speeds up this floor tremendously. I'm gonna speed run the cathedral today. That's my goal. I could go for the secret rooms and you know what? That's the one thing you'll catch me doing. Going out of my way for is the secret rooms. It's probably more special rooms or whatever. Maybe there's an arcade or something, a library, who knows, right? I will never know because I chose not to care. It's a good life hack, man. Gets you gets you out of a lot of stuff, man. Something something bothering you? Just stop caring, Lamal. <laughs> Lamal, how can cyberbullying be real? Like just turn off your monitor and walk away. Goaded goaded all time quote. That's what that's how I, that's how I've been living my my damn life, dude. No item out of that. That's a damn shame. But I did get a good trinket in this, so I'm not complaining. Uh, also, these items are all trash. Uh, well, I think parasitoid works. The rest of this, again, kind of trash. Again, boom. Uh, room bag's pretty good though. Yep, that's that's fine. That's mighty fine actually. Nope. Don't care for undefined. I'm not even gonna use it. Actually, why wouldn't I? I've got no real reason not to, I guess. Because even an error room will just take me back to where I am, but it took me to my secret room, which means I saved myself some time, I guess? Problem is now I need to go all the way back and I'm missing out on charges. This was a horrible idea! This was a terrible choice, dude. Why would I do this? Now, oh, this is the way to the boss. Well, when in Rome, let's just uh, quickly, I feel like getting the damage down is not a good idea here, at least right now. A lot of times you'd catch me taking that almond milk. Not right now, though. I feel like right now is not a good time to take that. Use this here. I found a secret room, red room, kind of dealio. That's crazy. Uh, sure, it's a tear cap breaker. I'll take that. Roll this. Uh, sure, I'll take it. An ancestor room. Why not? Plum fluid to turn into sinus infection. Much better. Okay. Uh, I also found my ultra secret room. I guess that's cool. That's conjoined again. I don't really need that. I'd rather re-roll that. But I also kind of want to re-roll this fucker. Or whatever he pays out with, much rather. I gotta do a lot of rolling here, and I've been missing out on a lot of it. Mystery Sack is also good. Man, this is... What are you, Mulligan? Sure, I'll just take that. Could you pay out with charges somehow? That would be awesome. <laughs> there's too many items and too little charges right now. Usually there's too many charges and too little items. Now I'm having the opposite problem. Okay, well, at least some of the items are just good, so I can just take them. Build free. But still, that's damage. Matter of fact, it's gonna be a big-ass sword. Okay. Okay, buddy. Big ass sword. That's that's the that's the deal here. What do I prioritize? This item or this item? This one. <sighs> epic fetus. <laughs> you you gotta be tripping if you think I'm taking epic fetus, but also that's insane. I should reroll again. I forgot I had the battery. Might as well check what you are. Oh cool, no more wacky tear effects. <laughs> sure, why not? After all, why shouldn't I? Roll you again. Okay, you're gone now. That's how it's gonna be. What what do I want? I mean, I do want to reroll the red room item, but it's not gonna give me anything I could use, right? It's not like I could use that to get into the Mega Satan door, but I suppose I just want to roll it. Uh, yeah, that's worth it. Fuck it. That's worth taking. I'm not gonna risk any mo much more on that. Could have gone for something else, but maybe this turns into something cool. And if not, then uh, so be it. So all the four gore. Oh. He would only be envious of the size of my sword. His puny bone simply doesn't compare. <laughs> so I don't want to put him through that struggle. I don't want to put him through that stress, have to put up with that, you know. I think it's totally fair. Well, let's reroll one more time. Uh, okay, sure, cool. We are unfortunately done here. Okay, chat, here's a... Uh, don't... Can I... Can I do something without anybody being mad? That's the wrong one. Damn it. Can I do something without anybody being mad? I just want to see how quick it goes, okay? I just gotta see how quick this will be. I have a 60 damage spirit sword. Like, with fucking twisted pair and BFFs as well. Like, my twisted pair's swords are doing so much damage. This is, this is insane. Look at the damage, brother. You telling me you wouldn't want to see this? The screen shakes when I tap my up button to swing my sword. The screen is shaking. And I've got a forgotten buddy helping me out as well. He gets to get a couple of hits in. Watch him go. There you go, he got a couple of hits in there. 
Matter of fact, he's actually been doing completely fine. He hasn't even been getting hit at all. I'm surprised, honestly. I'm very impressed with his abilities right now. To just uh, kind of stay in there. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you. Anyway, the run is now actually over. <laughs> I just I just feel like I had to get that out of my system. You know, it was fun. Anyway, that was a crazy run. I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have, because I certainly did. I love me a good spirit sword run, and it makes them hella quick, too. Either way, that's it from me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.